Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Z 69 Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know we looked at this, uh, this tank yesterday, the XM66F. Uh, absolutely brilliant tank. It is such a fantastic tank. Now, I managed to get mine. I managed to get mine. Now, those of you that didn't know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, or a week or so ago, I got a crate, uh, that in that crate, or I got a bundle, which was a really good bundle that gifted, uh, or that get, got you a few crates. And in that crate, I got 50,000 gold. So, result. Um, so, obviously, I kept that gold for this, sorry, this snow globe event. So, I didn't think that would be enough gold. Normally, sometimes, uh, you do have to spend a lot of gold uh, for this event uh, or for to get snow globes this time i didn't in total it cost me around fifteen thousand gold that's it i know i've got, got no gold left but uh, to actually get the tank it cost me about fifteen thousand gold now don't use that for an example to then put money into this game uh, to try to get this tank because i've known other people to spend at the moment already after one day almost a thousand uh, sorry a hundred thousand gold so yeah it's a hit and miss uh snow globes always are a hit and miss uh because you it's random you could get a snow globe you might not get a snow globe and it is completely random now i wasn't fortunate fortunate enough to get the tank uh in a random snow globe i had to get the 10 snow globes to get the tank um so that's how i got the tank in the end is uh getting that 10 snow globe uh, but yeah, I, I, everybody loves this event. Like the fact that if you do play the game every day, you are able and without spending any money, you are able to complete this whole event here and either choose the Chrysler K or the Snow Globe itself. Now, of course, the Snow Globe does guarantee a tank. Doesn't matter. I don't know what tank, but it randomly uh, you are guaranteed at least one tank. So I probably wouldn't choose the Chrysler K. Um, obviously, to get the XM, then yeah, you may have to spend a lot of gold. Obviously, you can use free XP um, as well. I used a lot of my free XP, and to be fair, that gave me absolutely nothing absolutely nothing whatsoever of course along with this you do have the auction as well where you can get uh cheaper tanks like a lot cheaper so to be honest the christmas event the christmas event is the one time a year where people really really do look forward to because like it's the christmas event everybody loves uh, the christmas event now the xm 66 f i i've had, i've been playing it a few times today obviously i got it i tested it on my, my on my own account i've already had the ace so i didn't really need to chase the ace uh, but I, you know i took it out whilst not many people own the tank i thought you know i'm, I'm gonna go and play it to see if it is as good as i first thought and honestly it is it really is. Do I think it's overpowered? No, I don't think it's overpowered, but it is super, super strong. Uh, the DPM, as I said yesterday, uh, the DPM is spectacular. It really is a fantastic tank. And just how quick the tank is. Like, the tank is so quick. Uh, but just because it is quick, you still need to play it very carefully. Do not get caught out. Because uh, I had one game where... I overdone it. I overpushed. I, I went into the middle. I went to help a medium tank. There was two medium tanks on the enemy team, and I just got absolutely busted. I, I couldn't do anything. They got behind me, or one tank was in front of me behind a rock. I couldn't do anything, and the other tank was behind me, and I, I just could not do anything. Uh, the traverse stopped me, honestly. The traverse did stop me doing anything. So even though going forward the tank it is very very quick but you just gotta be careful because you, if you do get caught out 
uh, in the open, then you will struggle. Now, here, I, I think I get lucky this game. So there goes the Chieftain, and now these guys are, are starting to push forward. Now, I do want to drop back because there is my team behind, uh, just to support that a little bit more. So if I can get some bounces, that would be absolutely perfect. But right now, I'm not bouncing anything. I do bounce a bit by the end of the game. Uh, but yeah, right now, I'm not bouncing anything. So... Always try to wiggle, you know. Don't make it easy for the enemy uh, for the enemy team to penetrate you. Like, make it hard for them. Don't just sit out there in the open. Uh, so we have managed to block a shot. Now here, this is where I noob out a little bit. I should just take my time uh, in aiming. Luckily, I do bounce a couple from this guy, and yeah, I'm gonna bounce again. But my T57 is there to support me. But because of the DPM, like the mount. Of damage you can do like very quickly like it's it's like an auto loader you know with an auto loader you don't realize just how much damage that you're actually doing it's the same as this really like even this game it feels like I've done nothing it feels like I've done nothing and I'm yet I'm still on two and a half K damage now our DPM has dropped a little bit because we are running the calibrated shells over 370 heat pen I think is really nice uh, and you're also still having uh, that good DPM so I do think it is a fantastic tank and I'm glad it is in in the game um, obviously not many people will be owning the tank right now unless they do spend a little bit of money uh, in of course getting the snow globe but I think it is a fantastic tank for wargaming to add in the snow globe and again like I said I don't think it is overpowered some people might some people might not I don't think it is overpowered I just think it is a very very strong tank in the right hands but again you put this tank in a, in a position where mediums can really abuse you, then that is where it, it doesn't feel as good. The turret traverse, you've got to remember, doesn't quite go all the way around. Um, it's not the fastest of tanks when it comes to traverse. And, and you can sort of, uh, you, you can struggle. You can still struggle in the tank. So you need to put it in a position where you really can uh, be successful uh, in the tank. And when you master how to play the tank, when you master the positionings, of the tank and how to use the armor, how to use the DPM, then that is where it really does shine. But I think overall, it, as I've said yesterday, it is a brilliant tank. So many people already have the tank. I've seen it so many times already. Uh, I got lucky. Like I said, I only spent 15,000 gold. In fact, I didn't really spend anything myself because I saved that gold um, so yeah, I did get pretty lucky, uh, but not everybody is going to get lucky, but uh, eventually it will be back. I don't think it will be back for a very, very long time. Would I suggest spending all this gold to try and get the tank? Probably not, no, because you don't know how much money you actually have to spend uh, to get the tank. That's why I wouldn't recommend putting money into the game uh, to try and get the tank right now. Uh, next time it comes around, I do think it will probably be for sale either in crates or a lucky draw. Um, but yeah, maybe wait for it to come uh, for gold. I don't think it will be in the game for... I think it will be a while. I think it will be a while until it does come for crates. Uh, and of course, some people are really going to want it, but you're just going to have to be patient, uh, patient unless you are looking at spending a lot of money in the game. But Christmas is here. Um, again, the auction is where you can get some really cheap tanks as well. So do uh, be prepared to look in the auction. Make sure you do look in there. I think there's an M60 in there. And I think actually to start off with, these are all come, everything in the auction has come at a fair price. And they haven't even really gone down in price yet so uh fantastic event the event everybody looks out for the event everybody can still get a free tank as long as you play if you play enough you will get this event completed then you get to choose whether you want the the tier 8 tank or whether you want to risk going for the snow globe and getting a, a higher tier but i would still suggest getting the snow globe so thank you wargaming for this event I hope you all got all you uh, enjoy it. I hope you get the tank that you want. Hope you have a very merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.